Hey guys, it's T-Rom and I'm bringing you another tutorial today. This time it's how to make an HUD or heads up display using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. So we're going to be starting off in Photoshop and then after we finish up our base part we're going to move over to After Effects to add some animated parts. So we're going to do File New and we're going to make the width 1280 by 720 and click OK. And make sure the background color is transparent for when we move it over to After Effects. So basically we're going to be making the base of the HUD right here using a few shapes. So I'm just going to start out by, I'll pick a rounded rectangle I think to start is what I got right there. So I'll just select that, get a rounded rectangle, and then I'm just going to draw it in the bottom left hand corner. You can pick whatever color, you can change the shape of, it doesn't really matter, I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes. And then you want to right click on that and choose rasterize layer. And then, there we go, I got that. And I move, it's a little off from the bottom, so just move it down a pixel. There we go. And then if you hit Control J, it'll duplicate the layer. And then I'm going to want to take that and move it over to the right side, kind of give it a more even look. And then, and one more shape, I'll just say an ellipse, and I'll just drag that across the top. And I'll leave half on the composition, half out. So, just kind of got a little oval shape. And I had to rasterize all those layers. That's important you do all that. And then, there you go. I'm just going to select all the layers. I'll bump the opacity down to, say, 90. And then, let's see. Next, we're pretty much going to want to add some glow to each layer. Give it a kind of a cool effect. So you're going to want to select an individual layer. Do Layer Styles, Outer Glow. And then I'm going to change the color to red, because black and red kind of looks good together. Change the uh, blending mode to normal. Opacity up to 100%. Spread up all the way. And then we'll just leave the size alone. And don't worry about that. And then if we bring the range all the way down. It might not make a lot of difference, but to me it just looked a little bit better. Hit OK. And we're going to want to repeat that for the remaining two layers, or however many you'll have. So layer, layer, styles, outer glow. Choose red again. Bump the opacity up to 100%. Money mode to normal, spread all the way up, and then we'll do range down. And then as you do this, it'll get quicker each time because you know what you're supposed to do. So just do again, layer, layer, style, high glow. Just run through everything one last time. And then we'll be done with the outer glow part of this. There we go. Perfect. So you got a black spots with some red glow around them and the lowered opacity so you can kind of see through it to the clip in After Effects. So now we're just going to want to go ahead and save it to File, Save As, just change whatever name you want but make sure you save it as a PNG because PNG uh, transfers over the transparency to After Effects. Whatever name you want, choose None. So now we're going to want to move over to Adobe After Effects. Hold up, uh, stupid rocket done. There we go. So I got my clip imported already, and now I'll just file, import, file, and I'll choose my HUD image. And now we're going to want to go ahead and drag the clip onto the timeline. Or I'll drag the HUD first. Right? But there you go. You see you got the HUD? Okay, yeah, forgot this. Make sure, let's just do a different color background so you can see the black. And we're going to make the... HUD in a separate composition before throwing on top of the clip. So yeah, I'm just going to put my name, change the font, I don't know. Pfft, that doesn't look good. No, no. Ooh. Pfft, that's tough finding it. Okay, fine. I'll just stick with the basics. Aerial bold. And then I'm just going to want to shrink that down a little bit to fit in the bottom left hand box. Oh, whoops. <sighs> Let's see, shrink it. There we go. I'll just drag it to realign it. There you go. You got T-ROM right there. And then, if you go on the layer and I hit T, I'll hit Opacity, and you Alt-click on the keyframe button, and you type Wiggle, parentheses, see, 5, 10, parentheses. That'll kind of give it a random glowing effect, almost. I don't know how to explain it, but it'll flicker the opacity up and down within the range that you specify. 
So, and if you change the opacity down to 50%, it'll start out at that area and go within a couple percentage up and down randomly. So it'll kind of glow and then fade and glow and fade. So it's a kind of cool effect. Kind of flickering. As you can see there. It's kind of getting brighter, then it gets darker. It's, it's all random. It's a pretty cool thing about Adobe After Effects. Well, let's just change it up a little bit to 1010. That'll give it a little bit more of a glow. When it's lower opacity, it's not as noticeable. But I'll just give it that little bit extra. And then on the other side, I'm just going to do a thing that I did in another tutorial. It's randomized te uh, text. So I'll just type out a few numbers. I'll shrink them down. Let's see. Let's put that right there. It's going to need to add a few extra numbers to fill out the box. Uh, there we go. And now. I'll duplicate the layer and throw it down below it to fill up the entire box. And next we're going to need to do click down and where it says animate on the text click character offset. I'm going to do the same thing as we did with the flickering text. We're going to alt click on character offset, type wiggle parentheses 5 10 uh 2010 parentheses and then as you can see the text will be just randomly changing, which is pretty cool, I think. And then you're going to want to go in the next text layer, do the same thing, click Animate Character Offset, then Alt-Click Character Offset, and then Wiggle 2010. And make sure you're clicking on the keyframe button next to the name where it says Character Offset. That's what you need to do. And now you got two randomly generated text layers, and it'll just keep scrolling. It's pretty cool. It's almost, I don't know if you can say a matrix effect, but it's cool. You can use this in other stuff, too. As I said before, it's in a different tutorial I made just how to do that. So let's see. So then I'm going to throw one thing on the top half oval, so where is it? Just got to find it. It's like, it's a rotating, or it's green screen footage, that's what it is, yeah. So I'll just pick this man right here, this crouch walker. So I'll throw him onto that, and we're just going to do effect, keying, color key, and then use the color selector tool to pick the green. I'm going to just bump up the color tolerance a little bit to get rid of those extra spots. And then bump up the edge thin a little bit, change that. You don't want to get rid of too much of him. And then, there we go. And then the edge feather can just make it a softer bit. Make it kind of a softer cutoff. And then we'll just shrink him down and then we'll throw him in that top bar. He might not be as noticeable, but this is just for the tutorial. Just something to fill it in with. You can really change the shape, put whatever you want in these boxes. You can put a gun name, you can put how many kills the person's getting, I mean, it really doesn't matter, just whatever you want. And then we'll do a new composition, black background, 12 by 720, and then we're going to want to drag our clip onto that. And then we'll drag composition one on top of it, which is the HUD. So you can see the HUD will pop up, and we got it over top of the clip. So if we... Uh, Slow computer, there we go. And it, there we go, refresh. So you can see the HUD is on top of the clip now. And it may not be perfect, but you can mess around with it as much as you want. You can throw whatever effects on it you want. And uh, it's pretty cool looking, I think. I mean, this was requested, something like many frags did in one of his montages, so. Just thought I'd show you the basics of this, and I mean, you can even do some 3D stuff to fool around with. And I'll show you the finished clip with HD over top. So, thanks for watching, guys.